my name is Paige. Welcome to my channel. So in September and October, I did this video series called Budgeting for Books and I skipped it in November because I didn't really have a big book haul that month and I felt like watching only a couple of books wouldn't be super fun. So I decided to combine November and December. So this is my November and December Budgeting for Books video. So the purpose of Budgeting for Books videos is not to brag about how much money I'm able to spend on books, but more to get the conversation going about how much books cost and where we can find better deals for books and how people find books that are good quality and not falling apart at the seams and we can all share ideas about how we can get our books for cheaper or save money and also just talk about how much books cost because books are not very cheap especially if you like to buy hardcovers and brand new which is something that I do prefer so I just want to be transparent about how much money I spend on books and be realistic about how much I should be spending each month and hopefully try and keep my TBR from being overwhelming because I have to think about how much money I'm spending and how much money I may or may not have every month to spend on all the books that I want because there are so many new books coming out every single month every single year and it's hard to not want to buy everything that everyone else does so this is just a series that I want to talk about the cost of books where we can find books how we can get better deals and all of that in the past I have seen a couple of thumbs down on these videos and if you are somebody who does not like this I would like to know how you would want me to approach this if it's just because you don't want me talking about money that's okay I understand not everything's going to be for everybody but if you do have any critiques for this series and would like me to morph it some sort of way I would love to hear your critiques so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the book haul. It is very long. It is over 30 books, but I am including the books that I got for Christmas as well. So I'm just going to get started. So like I said, November was a really strange month. I was in a massive reading slump and I kind of carried that reading slump into November too. But in November, I just decided I didn't really want to buy very many books. But at the very end of October, right before my credit card statement came out for November, I did scroll through my wish list on Amazon and see that there was a coupon for the Heroes of Olympic Olympics? <laughs> Heroes of Olympus. And I decided that I had to get it because I've been eyeing it for so long and it was such a good deal. So for these five books in hardcover and everything the whole box set I got them for $35.51 I'm just gonna hold up one so you know what I'm talking about I think they were originally around 50 to 60 dollars and every time I looked sometimes they'd go up to 70 sometimes they go up to 80 but the coupon was for $20.66 and I also had credit card reward points and that was $9.17 so this came down to $35.51 for all five books and I could not pass that up. $35 for five books I felt like it was a steal. So I went ahead and purchased it even though it wasn't technically in my budget for the month which was only $50. So <laughs> I already put a big dent in that one for the month. So also at the end of October right before my November statement came out I made a pre-order for Holopox by Jessica Townsend and that came through right at the very end of the month so I am counting this for my November haul as well and this was $15.56 and I bought all of these from Amazon so all six of those books were the only ones that I bought in November but I did have Scribd come through my account which was $10.73 like it is every month and I only listened to one book I listened to The House in the Cerulean Sea which was the only thing I read in November and then I had Audible come through my account which was $16.16 like it is every single month and I decided to save that credit and roll it over into December so I was over budget in November but like I said I'm combining December and November this month so I'm not going to talk about how much I was over budget because in December I gave myself an additional hundred dollars knowing that I was asking for a lot of books for Christmas and I probably wasn't going to get all of them and so I had budgeted out a hundred dollars for myself thinking I would just go and buy the books that my family wasn't able to get me or didn't find interesting because they like to just pick out the books they find interesting to give to me. <laughs> so I rolled over into December and this is where this haul is going to get pretty long. So I'm going to try and be speedy quick and not take up too much of your time. So December was really weird and I'm going to walk you through it. But my first purchase of the month was $19.45 on Amazon and I bought Into This River I Drown by TJ Klune. You can only get his books on Amazon so I would have tried to get them somewhere else 
if these weren't only printed on Amazon, but he had posted on Twitter that he was about to go gift this book to somebody and realized that they had stolen it and was trying to share it illegally all over Twitter. And I just decided that I was gonna buy it because I really like him and I feel like it's awful that people would do that to an author. So I wanted to support him that way and I got this book, which was originally my only book purchase plan, plus maybe one or two others that I was eyeing. <sighs> And then some things came up, which I will tell you in a second. But after I purchased that book, I had Scribd come through, which was 1073 like it is every month, but I didn't use it at all in December. So that was a my bad. I was just trying to get through a couple of books that month and I was being really slow with my reading. So I did not use Scribd, but I did pay for it. Then next up came the unexpected thing that happened in the month and that is that I got a $500 gift card to Amazon from my credit union. So backstory is that last year I entered this like sweepstake type deal for an adopted teacher through my credit union and I was like there's no way I'm gonna win but they were going to buy everything off of my wish list. And I was like I'll give it a go. I'll try it out. I probably won't win. I'm not very lucky with those things but I won. And I was one of like five teachers who won in the state of Arizona or at least in Phoenix and I got everything off my list, wish list for the past month so I haven't had to buy anything for school related stuff and I thought that was amazing. It was the best thing ever because teachers spend a lot of money on their classroom, a lot of money on the resources that we want to use that we might not be provided so I felt really lucky to have that already and then they decided for Christmas to give all of us the $500 and they were like this is not for your students, this is for you, spend it however you want. And I sat there staring at that card like, okay, I could buy some random things I need around the house. I could buy some random things that I see every now and then. I could save it for a couple of months. Or I could just lean into the Christmas spirit and buy myself a bunch of books. So that's what I did. It might not have been the most responsible and I didn't spend all of it on books. I did buy some other things that I wanted or needed. But mostly I spent everything on books. So I am going to put a separate tracker for the gift card amount if you want to know but I count gift cards as free money they are not part of my budget I don't count them as income or anything it's just very special random occasions that you get extra money so yeah here's what I spent from the gift card so my very first purchase was getting the pre-order of a sky beyond the storm which is what I am currently reading so this is just the dust jacket and I also pre-ordered a vow so bold and deadly and that has not come in yet but I am so excited to read that one and those were 1511 and 1642 respectively so then audible came through and I had just the very day before seen that they were going to do a Grisha read-along and I decided I wanted to join. I already had the audiobooks for Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I read them already. Here's a vlog of me sobbing over Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> but I wanted to get the audiobooks for the first three because I already read Six of Crows with the audiobook. I figured I might as well read the original trilogy with the audiobook as well. So I had to use my two credits, my December one and my November one, and then I also had to purchase an extra one. So that was 1616 for the credit that I got in December and then an additional 1509 for the third book. I got them and I'm going to be participating in the Grisha read along. So if you want to read along with that, I will link the information down below. I also, with my Amazon gift card, got the 12 dates of Christmas for $12.96. And then I made some very hefty purchases with this gift card. I made it all at once, but it all came out in different transactions for some reason. So first up for $97.01 <laughs> were the physical books for the Grisha read-along. Beartown by Frederick Bachman, because Mare Reads loves it and I have to do everything that Mare says. House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. I wasn't planning on reading it, but then I saw Catherine Zofri read it and she liked it, so I trust her. And I decided to pick it up, even though it is so big. <laughs> then I also got King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo for the Grisha read-along. So next up, um, on my gift card for $82.52, I got these ones. Legendborn by Tracy Dion, because everyone has said this book is amazing and everyone says that it, you have to read it. And I think it won something on the Goodreads Choice Awards, so it's clearly very good. So I need to read this one. Then I got 
Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter because I had purchased the audiobook through Audible one time and I hadn't owned the book yet and I like to read along with audiobooks so I figured I might as well get this so I can read along with it. I also got Clap on Your Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and everyone loves this book. I really wanted to read it all year long and I just kept never purchasing it but I finally did and I can't wait to read it and cry because everyone says it's super sad and super heartfelt but it's really good so I'm super excited to read this one too. I also got They Call Us Enemy and it's a graphic novel. I heard Rana say that it's awesome. She gave it five stars. It's I think really sad too. So I am excited to read this one. I love having graphic novels to just split up really heavy reading, especially all of these giant books that I've gotten to. So I am very excited to get to this one. And I also got Take a Hit Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. I read Get a Life Chloe Brown and loved it. So I am super excited to carry on. I've been wanting to read this one for so long. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, are you still with me? <laughs> and the final hefty purchase was $72.93. And I got Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin, Tell Me It's Real by TJ Klune, and it's the ugliest cover I think I've ever seen. <laughs> but I'm excited to read the story, but I hate this cover so much. Bear Otter and the Kid by TJ Klune, and I got The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. All right, so those are all of the things that I purchased on the gift card. The rest of it is everything that I got for Christmas, so I am not going to count those towards my budgeting obviously because they were gifts and I have no idea how much people spent on them I don't want to go back and track that that will just make me feel guilty about not spending enough money on gifts and stuff so <laughs> we're not gonna go there but let me just break down my numbers real quick before I go into the rest of my haul so in November I spent $77.96 on all of the books and what I purchased in December on my own without the gift cards was $61.43 the gift card total in December was $296.95 and that put December's total for $358.38 but like I said I count the gift card as just free money so I'm only going to count what I purchased myself with my own income and December and November together came out to $139.39 which puts me at $10.61 under budget technically but I definitely got way more bucks than I needed in the month and I still need to tell you all about my Christmas gifts too. So first up with the Page Turner book club we did a book exchange and M got me The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by B.E. Schwab. So I already told you thank you but thank you so much M. I am super excited to read this one and I've heard great things. I've seen Mare cry about it and I just whew, can't wait to read this one. Then on Christmas Day me and my little cousin had drawn each other's names in our family and so she got me Majesty from American Royals by Catherine McGee and I cannot wait to continue on with the series and see how everything wraps up. She also got me A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and I have heard amazing things about this one. I know it's going to make me sob probably more than anything but I am very excited to read this one especially with what my family is going through right now so oh it's gonna be a tough one but I I'm really looking forward to getting to this one then my mom got me a bunch of books and she was a little annoyed with me because I pretty much only asked for TJ Klune books and she couldn't find them at Barnes and Noble she said she walked in there they couldn't help her out because they are only on Amazon so I kind of forgot to mention that to her but she got me this duology which is Withered and Seer and Crisp and Seer. I think that's how you say it and I think it's like a dystopian type book set. I think it's after an apocalypse or something along those lines. I'm not 100% but I think there's a dog in this one and I think the dog lives too so I'm excited about that. Then she got me The Bones Beneath My Skin by TJ Flynn and she got me what is currently published of the Tales of Verenia. Verenia? I'm not 100% how you say that. I will put that right here. But the entire set, I think his fifth book is coming out later this year. So I wanted to read the whole series so I can continue on with the series if I love it. I assume I will. I love TJ Klune. I trust everything that he writes. So those are what my mom got. And I was so happy. I don't even think she realized how excited I was to finally get all of those TJ Klune books because 
those are expensive and my final gift was from nat from nerdy nat reads she got me the wicker king she was so sweet just out of blue asked me what my wish list was and she bought me this and i've been wanting to get this one for a while i was planning to read it with my two best friends but that fell through with us because we were all so busy so i'm so excited to get to this one i just love how unique it is and how everything changes up and i oh, cannot wait i cannot wait so yeah that's like 30 plus books i don't think they're going to fit my tbr card but i am going to make it happened somehow. I need to get cracking with my reading. I've been in quite a bit of a slump lately, but with everything going on with my family, it's kind of makes sense why I'd be in a slump. But I am trying to roll out, trying to start fresh this year, and I have some pretty big goals, and I really hope I can get to most of these books this year, though they don't sit there collecting dust. I need to be better about reading the books that I own. So I might not be having a budgeting for books in January or February or maybe even March. I might combine a couple of months together just like I did November and December just because I have so many books to pick from now and I really need to get through them. So if you have not already seen my TBR, I will link it right here and this is me going to attempt to get through some of these books. But that is all that I have for now. Please let me know if you have any helpful hints or tricks or tips to get books for cheaper and where I can find them and if you have any ideas for how I can make this series even better going forward in the future. So I really appreciate you for being here. All right, I will see you later. Bye.